The Kerala High Court on Tuesday posted for January 21 the hearing of the anticipatory bail plea of actor Dilip in the actress abduction case. When the matter came up for hearing this morning, the prosecution sought more time to complete the probe in the light of fresh developments and the court posted the case for Friday. This is the third time that the court is postponing the plea in the wake of fresh developments and as on the previous two occasions the court ordered that there should be no arrest of the actor till then on monday the high court allowed the prosecution to re-examine three and summon five new witnesses in the ongoing trial in the case all these fresh twists and turns surfaced early this month after film director balachandra kumar made fresh statements related to the case The court proceedings were progressing smoothly for Dilip till Kumar made an appearance and spilled the beans saying that the actor soon after being released on bail saw the visuals of the actress who was kidnapped being physically attacked by her tormentors until this time it was only the trial court had seen it Kumar made more disclosures before the police and also a magistrate based on these disclosures the police probe team registered a fresh case and sensing that he might be arrested Dilip sought an anticipatory bail Dilip was arrested in 2017 and lodged in prison in a case related to a gang sexually assaulting a frontline heroine of South Indian movies and filming the scenes. After two months in jail, he was released on bail. Meanwhile, the crime branch had raided the homes of Dilip's sister's husband and friend Sharad last night. The investigation was related to Balachandra Kumar's revelation. Sharad, who is suspected to be a VIP, is the sixth accused in the case. A decision has been taken to make a secret statement of Pulsar Suni's mother as well. The Aluwa Judicial Magistrates Court will record the statement. The prop team has filed an application in the court seeking permission to question the accused Pulsar Suni. News desk, Kamde Global.